Balloon is a word which has a lot of meaning to it for me and in the world. And it doesn't mean just one thing. Think for a second of all the meanings you can think of for the word loon. Okay, it's the name of my canoe. It is also a name people call me. And it also goes back to England, to the first mental hospitals that they had, where they locked people up in a place called Bedlam. And they were called, the inmates were called lunatics. Because when the full moon got big, they got rambunctious or they got a little violent. And uh, that was the first mental hospital. Uh, I may be wrong on that, but it was there. And you as a member of the public could come in and with your cane or stick, you could try to provoke the people on the other side of the bars. You could buy them shots of gin, which they would pass through, and the inmates would drink it, and then they'd watch whatever they did. Uh, I spent my 19th year in a hospital ward, so I do know a little about it. It was a locked ward called Bowditch at McLean Hospital in Belmont, Massachusetts. I had good company there, people like Robert Lowell and James Taylor, and uh, some other great poets and people. There was a physicist named Forbes who won a prize for his theories of things. And it's sort of like if you have an intensity, sometimes it can't stay in bounds. And it's sad, but other people not understanding that, the simple solution is lock them up. I've always felt if I'd gotten to a farm or a place like this inside nature, I wouldn't have had to go through the year of time that I did go through under that kind of unconnectedness. There's no relationship in that kind of world. I was spent my first weeks in a room that didn't have a doorknob on my side, and it had a little square plexiglass uh, window where a face would appear, half a face would appear every 20 minutes and the light would flick on and go off and they called it checks. But there was another guy on the hall named Nick, Nick Nolte. No, not Nick Nolte. Uh, Nick was his first name. And he wasn't on any medications and he had only tried to kill his parents and the parents felt strongly enough about him that they didn't put him in jail, they put him in a mental hospital. And so he was able to have full control of his faculties and he had speakers that were this tall in his room and the room is not very big. And uh, what we would do at the time, it was rock and roll's sort of inaugural high point days, um, we would all drift down the hall and into his room. So we'd get about ten of us in the room and we'd barricade the door, make it so impossible to slow the aides down as they would try to break in because we would put on a song, it was a particular song, and crank up the volume so high that the room started to shake. And that song was by the Chambers Brothers called The Time Has Come, Time Has Come Today, Where Young Hearts Must Go Their Way. It's a good song. <laughs>